Hi everyone, uh, this is Cathy Rowan here in Bundaberg, Queensland and you see here um, a painting that's nice and dry now. I did it a little while back off camera, which is okay. And um, it's really, really very nice. But I've decided that I'd like to put some Waratahs on. So I'm going to use my stencil to do that. Waratahs are not the easiest um, of plants to paint. So I'm going to have three, I think. One there like that, one here. No, I'll trim them down a bit more. So I'll have one here, and then one here, and then one here. So I'm going to do this uh, middle one first, just sort of right like that, there. So if I do that one first, when it dries, then I can put the others over the top so that they move up. So what am I using? I'm using, um, uh, what is it? Creative Artist Collection Acrylic Paint. This one is Scarlet Lake Red. Now, to what I have done, where's, that had sticky on it. Um, what I have done, I've got the three cups here with the Scarlet Lake in it. This one here is an adulterated bright red. And then I put some white, or rather a lot of white into a little bit of it and I had pale pink. And this one here is the same thing but with less white so it's um, a bit darker. So I've got the three shades. So I'm just going to, just please stay where I put you. Thank you. I'm just going to dab my paints on, hoping that it doesn't move. I prefer you didn't. I might even have to do um, a couple of layers of paint. That's okay. I can do that. So I'd like to get the first layer on first tonight of this pink and uh, and it'll dry overnight and then if I need to I can put a second layer on in the morning and we'll just see how it goes from there I'll just wait for that to dry and then the next one will go here and then another one here and I think I'll put the red one down in here and have the darker pink up the top. Might even do a fourth one yet, just see how they go now that I've started doing them. They're really, really pretty. Alright, so that's that for the time being and um, I'll catch you in the morning when this one's dry. Hi everyone, um, I'm back and it is now tomorrow <laughs> and I'm about to put the red one on. By the red one I mean the red Waratah and then the darker pink will go on last because it's going to go down here. So I'm going to put a piece of one here and then a full one up here. So we'll just 
see about not dripping paint everywhere. And it's the same process. And I'm just dabbing the paint on. This is just the way I do it. Um, other people probably have different ways of putting paint on these stencils. To get some on my hand. And just going over. Oops. Okay, so that's that one. As you can see, it's I'm pretty even. So what I'll do now is go and take this off and go and wipe the stencil off over there. Only take a second. Ooh, lovely. All right, I won't be a sec, and I will do the other one. this other one in a minute with my little skewer. That work phone. <laughs> if the boss only knew what we did when we weren't on the phones. <laughs> oh well. Have to have a stretch of the legs every so often. I think what I have done is made these paints too thin. They do work better, a bit better if they're a bit thicker. Take it up. Right. Just stick it in water. I might have to put a bit of darker pink on that lighter one but so I'm going to let these dry and um, and I'll be back to finish it off shortly back again for the uh, medium color pink this time to go on and probably a little bit repetitive but this is the way I do it As you can see from the red and the light pink, well, that's pretty good for those. And my little bird wants to go outside. Problem is it's about to rain, I think, and I don't want him out in the rain. So, 
we can just complain. Yeah, I know you're there. <laughs> Pretty good when you get nagged by a little bird. He's a crimson breasted conure all the way to Australia from Chile. Chile. Well, at least he was born here, so I guess he's not actually from Chile, but that's where they originate in and around that area. There's my pink one on. Lifting. Oh, nice. Now, I'll just take this over and wash it off pretty quick. If you're using stencils like I do, the idea then is to get the paint off as quickly as you can so that they you know, have to rub. This brush has got some pink on it, but here we go, look, why not be? Just bring it straight to the edge. Thank 
that bloke. And okay. I think I might just leave that as it is now for a minute and have a think about it. But I think it's just about right. I'll um, just leave it to dry while I have a think about it and then I'll bring you back to um, have a closer look. I think it's rather good. Alright, so they're nice and dry, my waratahs, and I have my small brush. And uh, I'm just going to put some bits of shading over these. Uh, this one here is quite alright, but uh, and I've done that one, so I thought some uh, darker red perhaps on this. Um, darker pink, see how that goes, maybe just a bit here and there, and um, I'll put some lighter pink on it as well, and get, get it all looking good, and then it's only a matter of no barking. And it's only a matter then of uh, waiting for a few day, a week or so for it to dry properly and uh, I can lacquer it. Put the lacquer on. So I think that's enough dark red on that one. So with these little small lids onto my paint, just put it in there like that. The paint's been in there now for three days and I'm still using it, it's still good, so that's how I uh, keep my paints. This lid's a little bit bigger but it still does the trick. This is the light pink. Too much light pink take away from my medium colour, but as you can see, it's looking good. A bit around the top here, and there. This one's got the white from the background under there, so that's pretty good as well. And just around like that. Just little light bits and pieces. Run over it with your finger a bit, smooth it in, smudge it in. perhaps like that right I like that now this bloke Really are very pretty. I like these. This is a very nice stencil. I got it on uh, eBay. So, yeah, what did I type in? I typed in um, A4 Warrita stencil, and I found this one. So if you were looking for one, that's about all you have to do.
I'm not quite sure where this one came from. I think it's an Australian one, but I know they would post OS. It's not that expensive. Right, I'm not doing any more. Actually, I think I've got too much pink on that one, so <coughs> put the lip back on my tops. Over some of this a bit more with the red just to define that he is a red one, not a pink one. Alright. Okay, so that looks good. And there's my Waratahs. And I'm very happy with them. And as you can see, the um, canvas is really nice. <coughs> I'll just bring you out and you can see the whole oops, shebang. There we go. That's the whole one. Now I'll bring it down for a closer look. And we can see what they look like. So these are the Waratahs. And um, I really like them. <laughs> I keep saying that, don't I? A bit boring. I'll stop saying it. And this is the background that I did, which was a swipe. And then down to the Waratahs. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.